Hi, 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 Meir here from Israel. And today I want to talk to you about learning, about studying and about very fascinating thing that happen while you study. Now, did you notice that when you go to learn, you don't feel good and somehow you feel that you're not as clever, that you don't really get it, that there's more, that something, something is missing and most of the time, you go out of study and you feel, mm, I wish I could understand more. I wish I would be more smart. I wish I could be more clever. And the question is, why is it happening? Why is it happening? Most people will say, well, you know, you've got your brain and uh, you know, that's, that's what you have and you have to deal with that. It's not the reason. I'll give you the reason and it's not easy to confront, but that's the real reason. The reason you are not doing as well in learning is because the teachers make you wrong and make themselves right. That's all. They don't actually they don't actually understand that their job is to make you right. And since they want to show that they are the teacher, they know they make you wrong by making themselves right. So they have to, they have to, they have to make you wrong. And only unique teachers, only the best of the best somehow understand it and understand that making the student right is more important than the data. If I'll make you right enough, if you will feel right enough, you will simply know, you will not need to learn. Because learning is actually a process of removing data, it's not a process of adding data because you already know. So when I make you wrong, you have to hold to anything you have, anything. You just want to hold it. So for example, um, let's say that you lost money, I make you wrong. So you will hold for whatever you have, even if what you have is not so good, you have a broken shirt, you, you will keep it because it's better than nothing. So when someone make you wrong, you want to hold for anything you have. But when someone make you right, you feel that you have an abundance, you have a lot of something, and so you're willing to give out fake realities. Fake realities is a piece of information that you're 100% sure is right, but when you use it, it doesn't bring the expected result. And it is the thing that stops you. Everything you. Every time you didn't get the expected result is because you used fake reality. So when a teacher make you wrong, you will hold to fake reality. How you will hold to it? You will start with arguing with the teacher, you will not agree with the teacher, or you will think that you are not so smart or something. Either overtly or covertly, you will hold for the fake realities. So why you are not as good as you could be? Because teacher, use teaching as a method to make themselves right and you're wrong. And before you really understand that you shouldn't let yourself be an effect of that, but because, and understand that if the teacher make you wrong, it's his problem and it's okay. And either replace the teacher or just decide that your cause and you pick up what's right for you and you decide what's right for you and you take what's right for you and you don't actually uh, get impressed or depressed by the evaluation of the teacher, before you can actually get that ability, you will not improve in your life because you have to get rid of the fake realities in order to improve in your life. Now, if you want to improve, join my seminar. You will find the link somewhere there. I guarantee you will improve. I guarantee it's not a maybe. You will improve in such a way, in a, in a way that you never improve. And uh, you will love it. And I love you already. Thank you. Bye-bye.